In this video, we're going to talk about the Flipper Zero CLI bridge application. So if you remember, I already did a couple of videos about the CLI. So here, this application allow you to access to the CLI right from your Flipper Zero device. And here it is really interesting because as featured here as an example, you could use the SubGigers chat application. So this functionality actually here, if you wanted to use it, I made a video um, in the past where I show you how you could use the Flipper Zero CLI here embedded in a lab.flipper.net. So basically you need to use your Flipper Zero connected to your computer using a USB-C and you type your, your command here and then it run like the chat application. But here with run shadow application, you could use it with your Flipper standalone. So without any computer, you could just use it and quite frankly it's not maybe the most easiest way to type a message but it is like nice feature to have okay so we're going to see how to use it and what we could do stay tuned the black one is connected and i'm sending the commode remotely via the flipper cli using the lab.flipper.net and the second one here i'm going to run the command and type them with like the, the d-pad so here is something interesting to keep in mind you could not use the usb connection while you're running this app and also when you exit it you might need to restart the application so that's perfectly uh, expected right now and we're going to move on and and type our first command so here i will type the free command in order to see what are like some free space okay so you could see it's a bit blurry but it's um fully working actually okay so now i'm going to use another command so you see here i already typed sub gears and now i want to make a space so actually here there is no space button you see there is an underscore button and you keep uh, pressed and it works okay so sub gigahertz then i'm going to type chat and now again a space oops and now i will put the frequency in uh, hertz so i decided here like to use the 400 and 33 okay so here it's normal it run the application and you could see like the handle of my um, flipper zero user okay i'm doing the same thing here um, with the common using like the black uh, flipper zero Oops, my bad, my typo. Okay, so I'm going to send a message. And you could see here that my Flipper Zero Staria have sent here like hello message to the um, Flipper Zero below here. 
So let's uh, respond him. So we should like see here below um, another message. Okay, I say hi. And you see indeed like the message. So yeah, it's not like really, I will say handy. You cannot like type um, really long uh, conversation using this. It's like almost going back in days when uh, everybody has a Nokia phone before like smartphone. And yeah, when you quit also here, it's going to say that the user left the chat. Okay, let's sum up what we have seen here. So the Flipper Zero CLI bridge allow you to use the console right from your Flipper Zero. So that's really interesting, especially for the sub gigahertz chat. Now for the other like common, let's say for instance date, I don't really see the point here of like running it from the console instead of like using the application that has a nice user interface for instance. So maybe in the future it's going to, to give us like more um, possibility, especially when you are like using the different um, commands that are present in a console or allow you to have like additional um, action that you could uh, could take, especially the sub gigahertz, there is no other way to, to use it uh, for like the, the chatting than using the console at that point. Maybe if people are keen on the LoRa development, because there are like um, a lot of um, projects around uh, chatting like application using LoRa and ESP32. So if we, let's say, have this on the Flipper Zero, that could be interesting, especially now with the external antennas that will allow your Flipper to extend its range. So thank you for watching this video and stay tuned.